All right, so we're installing the rad kit on this 22 Rubicon. It's gonna be the same process for ranchers, foremans, and Rubicons, 14 and up. So we're gonna go ahead and start with taking the seat off, get the center plastic off, uh, get the coolant drained out of it. So we can go ahead and pull all the factory hoses and radiator out. The 10 mil bolt at the bottom of the water pump cover. It's gonna be in the front at the bottom. It's got a copper crush washer around it. So we're gonna loosen that, leave a few threads in there and then take the radiator cap off. She's draining down there. And then next step, we're gonna go ahead and pull the hoses off from the motor side. And then we can start unbolting the radiator and all the uh, shrouds from the front. So you got one push pin up here holding the reservoir on. You got to come from the top. Can you see that? And then come down here, we got one 10 mil bolt in the back holding the radiator on. Ten mil for the reservoir. Uh, another push pin. So we can get that out easy. We'll leave it there so we don't spill coolant everywhere. Um, push pin from the radiator to the shroud. And then another one up top. clips that hold the shroud to the front. Another push pin up top. Got your diff vent line running on the back of the shroud. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, except we don't have a reservoir over there. So over here we got the power steering computer. We got a 10 mil bolt. And then we have two push pins. We got one on the bottom, one at the top right. And 
10 mil bolt at the bottom. And then get that out of the way. Go ahead and pull the radiator. We have another 10 mil and three push pins. Clip at the bottom, and then your fan or your gas overflow. That's the fan vent line. And you can pull that shroud off. Front shroud just slides out. And next, all you gotta do is just lift the radiator up, and then you can pull it out on this side. It'll be easier if you have the reservoir as well. So you have to take your fan plug off from the tab just so you have enough room once you raise it up and then you can run this wire down. We're gonna go ahead and pull the hoses off uh, so you can save your fan vent line. But we're gonna put all new hoses on full length going from radiator to the motor. All right, next up, we're cutting these tabs off. The plastic tabs flush with the radiator on both sides just so you can fit it in the kit. You can do this with a, anything that cuts plastic. Hand saw, sawzall, grinder. Then you got it flush on both sides. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and pull both 10 mils out and then we can get it in the new bracket. All right, we're getting both 10 mils pulled out and then we're gonna go ahead and pull the fan back just so we can get the uh, nut start off. All right, so the rubber mounts that the bottom of the radiator sits on, we gotta pull those out of the frame and then get them slid into the new relocator bracket. Easiest way to do this, just with a flat, flat head, go from one side and then push down. So, radiator sits down in there. And then you come up to the top, you have one of our 75 mil bolts. 
go through the radiator and then you slide your spacer on. And then you go all the way through. And then go washer. And then your lock nut. And then you do the same steps for the other side. All right, so radiator's in. We're gonna sit it up here, center everything, uh, make a dot for our holes, and then we're gonna take a punch. Since we're drilling into tubing, and then we can punch them and then drill our mounting holes. All right, so laying out a towel, just so we can catch all the shavings. Once we get the towel laid down, then we're gonna lay a piece of metal over it just so we don't hit the plastics. So we can cut it for the bottom hose. Right on that corner. All right, so short hose, you have a 40 inch and a 50 inch. Short hose goes to the lower of the radiator. Longer one goes to the top. Then we're going to go ahead and run that, connect it to the motor, and then we'll be able to bolt it to the rad, and then get everything bolted on. There she is. Alright, so on this side we put some grease on it, just so we can slide it over the radiator easier. Slide it up there. Make sure your hose clamp is on there. And then we can go ahead and tighten the lower hose clamp up. Get the top one on and then get the radiator bolted down. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, don't forget your hose <laughs> clamp. <laughs> So we got both hoses on, I'm getting the ride kit all bolted down now. All right, for the power steering uh, computer, you can zip tie it or we're gonna drill a hole through it and bolt it back to the frame. So we unclipped the fan plug from the shroud and then we ran up to the center so we don't have to extend it. And let's plug it in, there's your plug. And your fan vent line will get ran up your snorkel but for now we'll just vent it to the ground. So we got the bike pulled out, gonna jack up the back of it, then go ahead so we can get the radiator as level as possible, then go ahead and get coolant and water in it, and then should be good to go.